Hi, I'm Vicki Skipper. Uh, I enjoy painting. I'm from a small town, Clanton, Alabama. Uh, I ran into Tamara on Facebook and I enjoyed watching her paint. So I joined the Painters Clubhouse and they have been so supportive of, supportive of me. I have really enjoyed doing the painting tutorials with everyone. And uh, I, now I'm painting every day. I had give up on it for years, but now I'm doing a little bit every day and I just wanna let Tamara know, I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much. And just let everybody know, do what you love doing. If it makes you happy, do it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I joined Painters Clubhouse back in February of this year, and I only wish I would have done it sooner. Um, I joined the Fall Challenge last year and fell in love with it. I've always loved painting, but I never thought I was just like that good at it <laughs> And uh, until I started learning from Tamara and have probably painted 20 30 door hangers since the fall. Um, I absolutely love it. It's like therapy for me. Um, if you're hesitant because of the price, then don't be because therapy is more expensive and you can always sell one or two door hangers a month and pay for it. Or, um, I also use the door hangers in smaller portions and do wreaths out of them. Um, so you can do a cute little wreath and put a door hanger on it and sell it for 50 bucks and that'll pay your whole month. And, um, but yeah, um, after joining, I have been so grateful for just being able to sit down and paint and I'm not a fast painter. I don't like painting them fast. I want to enjoy it and not knock out a bunch of them. But if you're selling them and you can paint fast, it's great. Um, I usually take a couple hours to paint each of mine just so that I can have a calm down time. <laughs> so join Painters Clubhouse and just fall in love with it. All the sisters are great and give you great advice. Hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a nurse from Kentucky, and I'm here today to talk to you about Painters Clubhouse. I've been a member of Painters Clubhouse for a little over a year, and I can just tell you that before Painters Clubhouse, I used to browse those sites like Pinterest and Etsy and all of the Facebook Marketplace uh, people, and I used to look at those beautiful door hangers and think, I could never do that. But I took a chance and I took a door hanger class from Tamara and I painted my first door hanger over a year, over a year ago. Painting that door hanger gave me confidence. It was a tremendous amount of fun. And at the end, I had a beautiful product that I could hang on my door and say, I did that. So I joined Painters Clubhouse and I've not looked back. It's been a wonderful experience to just watch Tamara as she creates new products, to be able to paint along, uh, or if I can't paint along in the moment, to go back to videos and follow at my own pace, uh, to be able to come home from work at the end of a really stressful day and sit down with my paints and brushes and my wood and create something that is uniquely mine, even though it is inspired by Tamara. I hope you're not on the fence about joining, but if you are, let me give you some words of wisdom. Just take the leap. It's the best investment that you will make on a monthly basis. There's loads of fun. There is tremendous opportunity uh, to craft for yourself and be confident in your skills. And there's also a business side to crafting that can be, that can be found and grown. Um, hopefully one day I'll get there, but take the leap. You won't regret it.
Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. How is everybody this evening? I hope you've had a wonderful day. I almost said a wonderful week because it feels like we've been doing this all week. But today's just Wednesday. But um, I guess it feels like the end of the week for me because this is the last day Painters Clubhouse is open. So if you've been sitting on the fence and trying to make a decision, you're either going to have to jump to one side or the other at this point. You got to make it make a choice because uh, this is your last chance to join between now and um, spring. And so um, we only open two times a year. Hello, Amy, Pam, and Billy. How is everybody? Marie says you've gotten fancy with your countdown videos. I love them. We made those specially for this launch, but I love them too. I kind of think like maybe maybe we need to do those throughout the year and showcase some. Ooh, I just had a brilliant idea, Marie, because of your comment. What if we did countdown videos throughout the year that showcased artwork from our Painters Clubhouse members? Wouldn't that be a great idea? Hey, Christy, you joined Painters Clubhouse tonight. Welcome, Sis Painters Clubhouse sister. You can put hashtag PC sister on your post now if you'd like. Hello, Lori. Um, Jennifer says, what are we going to do now with no Tamara on our screens after tonight? You guys, my voice is almost gone. I'm going to have to like settle down and not be, um, not be like so loud and chatty because um, tonight, instead of our normal Bible study at church, we had uh, singing night and we did nothing but sing for almost an hour and my voice is almost gone. Laura, it is hot in Kentucky too. I, I see that you said it's hot in Arkansas. I think it was like 94 today. Jennifer joined Painters Clubhouse. Welcome PC sister. Uh, who else? Did anybody else join today? Um, I know some of you joined this week. Let's see. Uh, Christy did. Welcome, Christy. I was scrolling back through the comments. Um, you think that would be a great idea? I do too. Hey, Kathy, you found me live. Welcome. All right. So if you are just now hopping on the, and this is the first live you've seen me in all week, let me recap you. So we have been painting this little pumpkins in a basket each night. This was night number one, and we painted it very simple, just background colors. And the only like details or layers that we added were these polka dots, the black lines and the white highlights. We kept it super simple, pretty much paint by number. So this is like to represent somebody who's a beginner, a beginner painter. <laughs> Let, oh, Charlie would certainly talk for me. She's supposed to be getting ready for bed right now. Um, Sharis joined today too, welcome. Um, but anyway, so this represent like a be beginner who may join Painters Clubhouse and they don't have hardly any experience. And this is totally fine. This would definitely be a uh, sell and I would be proud to hang this on my door. Now, last night we took it up a notch. We started adding more details, more leopard print and some polka dots. We added some buffalo plaid. We made this look like a galvanized steel, uh, pan or bucket. And so this has even more detail. Now tonight we're going to do it the last time. And this is what I had planned to do, but I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. Since we did buffalo plaid last night, I think I may do something different on the, on the little handkerchief or whatever you want to call it. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for what I should do in here, besides buffalo plaid and polka dots, um, we'll see what we can do. But we're going to paint our pumpkins a little bit more realistic tonight. <clears throat> Pam got happy mail today from me. Well, awesome, Pam. I did send out a bunch of packages to our Painters Clubhouse sisters who had participated in the bingo challenge that we did back in June. And I was a little late getting those prizes sent out. Shara said, I started painting door hangers because you did a paint party at my church a few years ago. Which church was that, Shara? I'm curious. I, I did a lot of paint parties at churches. Cindy says, I'm trying all the platforms tonight. She's watching from YouTube. Uh, who's watching from TikTok? We got TikTok going too. Hi, Cindy. I see you on there too. Um, what? I don't even know what stars are on TikTok, but I would appreciate any stars you want to send me or any likes you want to give. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, you got your bingo surprise, Rebecca. Yay. Karen says handkerchief. That makes me a little nervous, but you know, Taking my, oh, St. Leo's and Murray, that was a long time ago. I remember that one though. Um, so taking my own advice, if something makes you nervous or makes you scared, maybe it's a good time to try it. And so um, maybe I should try handkerchief. That way, if it's a, you know, if it's a huge flop, at least I will have learned something from it. <clears throat> Hi, Holly. How are you? Uh, Marina loved her happy mail package that arrived. Okay. Let me get a 
egg carton. And we're going to start with painting. Let's just go ahead and uh, paint like our, our little bucket here. I'm going to give it a background color of this oyster beige. I'm trying to use almost the same colors every night, just changing up the way I paint it. So it looks a little more detailed each night. But I'm running out of this color, so I may have to substitute one. Somebody said patchwork. Oh, that's an inter interesting idea. I've never painted patchwork, but that does sound a little easier than painting like a, a handkerchief or a bandana print. I just dropped that paintball on the floor. Are you coming to tell me good night? You don't have a shirt on. Uh, but I do have this. Okay. Good night. Love you. Good night. <laughs> Charlie's going to bed. Shut my door. Thank you, babe. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be using those deco art um, paint brushes that I used last night. I really like this beginner's set. And I was telling you guys about this set. It is, um, I think, on sale for like $3 and something on uh, deco art's website right now because all of their brushes are 30% off. And they're also having a huge summer sale on their paints. Some of their paints were as much as 57% off. Um, a lot of the like ones that are more expensive, like the patio paint and the outdoor living paints, those have sealer built into them. Though A lot of those um, certain colors are on clearance right now. So if you need some more paints, I did put my DecoArt affiliate link in the description for y'all. And I included a 20% off discount code. Now, if you've used that code before, it'll only work one time. So, um, but in other news, good news, if you're a Painters Clubhouse sister um, or brother for that matter, we say sisters all the time, but there are a couple brothers in there. If you're a Painters Clubhouse sister, you are still giving me ideas. I appreciate that. Um, we, starting in September, are going to have a special coupon code for the Deco Art website just for Painters Clubhouse members that you can use unlimited, like multiple times. What's up, Travis? Sorry, uh, can we have ice cream? I don't care. Why are you asking me? Your dad's in there. I don't know. Because you think I'll say yes and dad might say no? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do those dishes first. What? Do the dishes first. Okay. Yes, what? <laughs> dad goes, you ask what? <laughs> Kathy said you saw pink peony pink. Oh, I love the peony pink, but it's um, it's a retired color. So I hate to buy it up and then use it on my lives and then you guys not be able to find it. So I'm trying to just get away from using it and, you know, learn to live without it. <laughs> Hi, Linda. She said this is going to be fun to watch. Well, I'm glad you're here. Is anybody else planning on painting one of these? I had seen some of you have been buying the wooden blanks from our shop. We sold a lot of these templates also. Um, and then a lot of you guys messaged me asking for the color list. And so if you did not have not done that yet, um, you don't, you only have to do it one time, but you can text me list. And when the list is available, it may be about a week or so before we have time to make it and post it. We will post the list for you guys so that you can use the same exact colors I do. Debbie says she likes the dragon fruit color better. I have that one. And I also have joyful pink, which I really like too. Teresa says a deco art discount all the time. Painters Club House members. Yeah, yeah. That's just one of the many perks of being a clubhouse member. <clears throat> so is anybody watching tonight that has no clue what Painters Club House is? Because I feel like I've talked about it this week till I'm blue in the face. Not that I don't love my Painters Club House and love talking about it, but you ever get to feeling like you're a broken record? <laughs> Is there anybody here who hasn't heard about it or doesn't know what it is? Because I will be happy to explain it or um, answer questions. Lauren says, do you have to do that for every sign to get a paint color list? Um, no. If you've done it once in a previous live, doesn't matter which live it was, then you're tagged in our texting system to get all the lists for all the things we make lists for. <laughs> Um, do we get a discount on blanks if we join Painters Clubhouse? Yes, ma'am. You get 20% off all of your purchases in our shop. Um, and that's a special discount for Painters Clubhouse members. Um, I may need to put my glasses on because I'm doing a lot of squinting here to read these comments. I went to the eye doctor today. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> I went to the eye doctor today and he put some drops in my eyes and I feel like my eyes have been off ever since. Uh, Jennifer, my affiliate link is up in the video description. You may have to like leave the live and then click above the live to see it, but it's there. 
Um, Cynthia says, I want to join Painters Clubhouse. What's the code for the door hanger class? Cynthia, there's not a code. There's actually a special link. So if you, Cynthia, if you're a participant from the uh, fall workshop, the double-sided door hanger workshop, you need to go into that Facebook group and click the link that is pinned in the announcements or the guides section. It's in both places. Kathy joined yesterday. Welcome. Okay, Jennifer says she's not sure what it is. All right. We will explain it. Um, Linda says, I can't decide between a Glowforge and a Thunder Nova. Linda, we're working on a blog post that will help you decide. So that's coming. All right. Bef while, before I start talking a whole lot, let me explain real quick what I'm doing. So I'm using a dry brush. This is a different type of bristle. Like it looks like a natural hair kind of bristle. And I've just put a little bit of that honey brown on it. And I'm going to go across this uh, this khaki or this oyster beige color. See, I'm just really almost no pressure, lightly scraping on and I've run out, lightly scraping on a little bit of this honey brown. And we need to do this before we put on any other colors. That way, you know, because we're streaking it, if it gets off of that area, it won't matter. And so this is going to make it look a little bit like a, a woven basket sort of look. I feel like it needs another color though. Let's try a little bit of this marigold. Kind of like, oops, that was too much paint. You only need a little bit of paint on your brush when you do this. Kind of like that. I think it'll look better once we get the other colors on there as well. Got paint all over my hand. Okay, so what is Painters Clubhouse? For those of you who do not know, it's my membership. Um, and we teach door hanger painting. We have a library with over 150 design, or not designs, 150 videos in the library. I think about 80 something of those are door hanger tutorials that come with uh, templates. And if you don't know what a template is, it's a printable. Um, it's kind of like one of these, but black and white, and you can print it out on your home computer and um, you can tape it together, trace it on your wood and cut out your own blanks. Now, if you're scared to cut out your own blanks, we have videos that teach you how, or you can use that 20% off discount code to buy blanks in our shop. How do you get to your shop? Gina, there's a link up above, or you can go to shopdoorhangers.com. Um, let's see. Now, Mackenzie, the Zoom calls, um, even though there's a bunch of members, not every member gets on the Zoom calls. It's a very small percentage of ladies that get on the Zoom calls. But if for some reason there are a lot on any particular Zoom call, like Marie was saying, we can do breakout rooms, which kind of se separates people out into smaller groups so that you have more of a chance to actually chat with each other. All right, next we're going to use this neutral gray to do the bands of the basket. Um, but Painters Clubhouse, like I said, there's 150 designs in the library and we are adding, two, or not designs, I'm starting to get sleepy in this speak, 150 videos in the, in the library already. And so some of those are door hanger tutorials that come with templates and some of those are master class techniques on things like how to paint flowers, how to do shading, how to do hand lettering, a um, bunch of different various videos on hand lettering taught by different people. Um, we have videos about how to paint camouflage, how to do paisleys, um, how to use a stencil, all kinds of different stuff, different things that are going to make your door, door hangers stand out from everybody else's. And um, we also add new videos to that library every month. So we do two new designs every month and they're exclusive to the Painters Clubhouse for a year. And um, so we give you the templates to those so that you can, you know, cut out the same exact shape if you like. And then I usually teach one in a video and then we have a guest artist come in and teach another one. And sometimes that's actually a Painters Clubhouse sister that teaches it depending on the month. And um, then we usually have a guest or me come in and teach a uh, a bonus like technique or something and that's usually a way to like you know something that you can use on any design you're painting it's just a technique 
And then something fun that we're going to start doing next month is I'm going to start doing a bonus tutorial in the clubhouse each month um, on the months that are in between workshops. And I'm going to be teaching an old design a new way. We're going to call it a remix tutorial. So I think that's going to be really fun. <clears throat> Hi, Judy. Terry says she also has a phone app, which I love. Um, I think you're probably talking about the Painters Clubhouse. Um, you can download the app called Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I, Kajabi. That's where the membership site part of the Painters Clubhouse is held. So if you download the Kajabi app, you can sign into Painters Clubhouse on that app. And it makes it super easy to find your classes. Uh, hey, Lisa, you're new here. Hello, Kay from Missouri. I'm located in Kentucky, Western Kentucky. I'm also live over on Facebook right now. So <laughs> my attention is divided. Is there a difference between Template Club and Painters Clubhouse? Yes. So Template Club is simply a subscription of multiple door hanger designs that you get each month um for one low cost so we release five new designs every month in our shop no sorry every week in our shop for a total of about 20 or 25 designs grand total well if you were to go in there and pay for each one of those templates separately you would be paying seven dollars per template retail price well if you sign up for template club you get all of those designs in one bundle for just 35 dollars a month that doesn't include any tutorials. There's not a special Facebook group, no videos or anything with it. It's just the templates. Um, but you're getting 20 or 25 templates for just $35. So instead of paying $7 each, you're paying barely over a dollar each. Now, some months have five Fridays in them and we are releasing 25 designs on those weeks. So those weeks you would be getting even more. Um, but Painters Clubhouse, you only get two templates every month, um, but you get tutorials with those templates. And then, of course, you have access to the library of designs um, that, are, that are in there from the past three years. And uh, there's roughly, I think we counted it up the other day, there's 88 in there currently, 88 door hanger templates and tutorials. And then that doesn't count all of the masterclass technique videos, the beginner, the beginner course videos, um, other just fun projects. Like sometimes we paint on ceramics. So we have videos about that. Sometimes we have uh, canvas painting as like a bonus. So things like that are also included. And you have access to that library. You can go in and watch anytime. We like to laugh and say it's like the Netflix of door hangers. I don't know why I'm being super careful to paint around all this stuff when I could pretty much just paint it on there real quick and then paint over it later if I don't get it covered good. Sandy says, do you show templates? Do you show painted templates in the template club? Let me show you an example. So Sandy, template club would get like this is a sample month, right? Template club would get all of these designs in that one month. If it was a if it was a month with five Fridays, see this has 25 on it. And so you would get the color version and the, and the black and white version and the laser cut version of all of these. And so you could use it on your Glowforge. You could print it out and cut your own, however you want to do it. And you also get a sheet like this that you can print out with all the designs on one sheet. A lot of people like to take that. And once they print it out, they will uh, put it in like a, a binder and create like a little album of their designs that they have access to and it makes it handy for them and for their customers to go back and see what all um, what all they can offer. Could you use templates to paint on canvas? Yes Tammy you can. We actually have a tutorial in the clubhouse explaining how to do this but you know if you know how to use graphite paper you could probably easily figure that out. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I feel like it's a struggle. This is the Canyon orange color. I'm just giving this pumpkin a base coat. We'll come back later and add some shading to it. But for right now, I'm just trying to get some orange on there. Aw, Jean, you are so sweet. She said, for me, Painters Clubhouse has been the best blessing and so worth the money. I appreciate that. Um... 
I was looking to see if I missed any questions. I don't think I did. If anybody has any questions or if I left anything out about Painters Clubhouse, feel free to, to mention it. We do have a Facebook group. That's where the community lives. So there's two parts to Painters Clubhouse. There's the membership site. That's where the library is of all the past tutorials, templates, all the things that you get to access are in there and they're organized. Um, and then the community part lives in the Facebook group, but we also go live inside the Facebook group to do the tutorials and then we move them over to the membership site for safekeeping. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm <laughs> forgetting your first name, Creative VA Connection, but I watch all of your videos on TikTok. Every time you come up, I'm like, oh, what she got to share with us right now. She teaches, for those of you who are not following Creative VA Connection on Facebook or on TikTok, and on Facebook, really, she has been teaching um, Canva hacks and like Canva things you can do um, for social media graphics. And that your, your videos are great. Um, let's see. So we try to do most of our tutorials live. The only time they're pre-recorded is if I know I'm going to be out of town and I need to, to pre-record it. But lately, we've tried to switch over to doing almost all of them live if we can. Just because I, I like the interaction with you guys and I know y'all like it too. So um, we try to do that. I think the cat has been up here on my desk. I keep finding cat hair in my paint. <laughs> Crazy cat. She must have snuck in here and laid on my desk. Does anybody else have a cat that likes to hang out in the craft room? I have never been a cat person until COVID happened. And then we got a kitten and she became like my favorite little thing in the world. She can be quite annoying, but she's precious. Creative VA connection. Sarah. I, I, see, I know like 15 Sarahs. Maybe, maybe that's why I couldn't think of it. And mine is Tamara. Nice to meet you, Sarah, officially. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. She said she always, always has a hard time thinking of my name, too. I blanked out when, I, when the pressure was on to remember your name. I suddenly couldn't remember it. Jennifer says she has two cats. We have two also, but one of them's inside and one of them is outside. Um, <laughs> Lisa says, I remember the days of doing Awana with you, with my boys and losing your voice reminds me of those days. Yeah, I've lost my voice because we've sang at church uh, for like an hour and then I came to do Facebook Live. Uh, I saw another question right above yours. Where was it? Sandy asked, is this the last night to sign up? I feel like I can't do it. I'm still on the fence a little bit. Sandy, why, why, what is, what is keeping you on the fence? Is there a question I can answer for you that will help you decide which side of the fence to jump over? Um, cause if, if, are you doubting yourself? Are you doubting, um, you know, whether or not this can help you? Because I feel like sometimes people doubt whether or not they're going to be able to actually learn how to paint. And then other people may not doubt whether or not they're going to be able to learn how to paint. It may just be about the money. Uh, lately, that's been the thing that I've heard. And I know money's money's tight right now. Um, you know, the economy sucks right now. <laughs> and so I feel like that is an issue for a lot of people. But I don't know if you guys heard my interview with Nicole Hillis yesterday. She's a young stay-at-home mom. And she has a, a baby. Um, she used to be a preschool teacher, I believe, or early childhood educator. But when her son was born, he had to spend some time in the NICU. And they had $10,000 in NICU bills that were due. And she said, like, that next month, she saw me painting live. And she got interested in door hangers. She thought, you know what? I'm just going to take the plunge. I'm going to join this Painters Clubhouse thing, see what it's all about. So she joined. And then next thing you know, she is jumping into starting a business because they needed money to pay these NICU bills. And within a year, they had the the $10,000 of the NICU bills completely paid off. <clears throat> she and her husband started a business uh, together. He helps her with it. He cuts out the blanks and stuff and helps her with putting the wire on them and all kinds of things like that. And it's just been so amazing for them. She said it's been life changing to learn how to paint door hangers. So, you know, that, that, that could be you, that could be, you know, your story. If, you know, if you're having trouble money wise, if, if for any of you, if you're having trouble money wise, why not take a, a chance on learning how to paint something and selling it, teaching paint parties. Um, it's a great way to make extra money. Oh, Jennifer, 
Uh, she said uh, it really stretched her to have to join to join Painters Clubhouse. Well, Jennifer, we are going to make it worth your while. But the only thing I can't do for you is, is make you paint. <laughs> so I need you to like trust yourself, kind of hold your own feet to the fire a little bit and make yourself sit down and paint and then put yourself out there to like sell these because if you can sell at least one a month that's going to make this way more affordable sell two a month and it's easily affordable um and all you have to do is really post about them on your facebook page or on facebook marketplace and people are gonna people are gonna buy them up laura said i doubted whether i could do it but i took the leap and i've never regretted it thank you for that um Marina says, as moms and caregivers and dedicated caregivers, we sometimes don't feel like we can do something for ourselves. This one group that is so worth it and will make you feel so good about yourself. It's the best gift to yourself. I interviewed Marina a couple on Monday, I believe it was. And she um, was telling me <clears throat> about, I just realized I was supposed to paint this pumpkin that color. <laughs> Whoops. Um, she was telling me about how her husband can see a big difference in her and how much happier she is now that she is in the painter's clubhouse and she's painting all the time. He said she just seems way more relaxed. So, you know, this is like the cheapest form of self-care and therapy that you'll find. It's cheaper than going and getting a massage. It's cheaper than going and sitting down with a therapist. And, you know, neither of those things is going to make you any money, but painting door hangers and selling them will definitely make you a little extra money. <clears throat> Pat says, no regrets here. I interviewed Pat today as well. Uh, let's see. Aw, Jennifer says, ladies, you can paint. If I can paint, anybody can do it. Cynthia says, is the money in the finished product or in buying or in supplying blanks? Depends on who your customer is, Cynthia. I certainly think that if you had enough customers who wanted to buy the finished blanks, especially if you had a laser machine and you were selling you know really nice cutouts you could definitely make a lot of money off of just selling blanks um especially if you were set up at like a craft show or something like that people would come by and buy stuff because they're diyers because who goes to craft shows other crafters um but i always made most of my money in selling painted pieces and in teaching paint parties the paint parties was where the easy money was at i mean yes it was a lot of work but it's less work than sitting down and painting a whole bunch of door hangers. It was faster and easier to go teach it at a paint party. <clears throat> Sandy says, you all have made me feel so much better. How about if I don't cut my own out? Where would I buy the cutouts? We sell them in our shop, Sandy. Um, you can use our 20% off discount code. It's a Painters Club House discount. Um, and you can use that as many times as you like in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com to buy the cutouts. But we do have videos in the clubhouse teaching you how to cut them out. So if that's something you ever desire to do, and, I, and I'd almost be willing to bet that you're going to see some of these ladies like Miss Pat Harwell in the Painters Clubhouse who are cutting out their own blanks. And you're going to just be like, man, if she can do it, I can do it, you know, because there, it's, there's something empowering and encouraging about seeing a, uh, a Facebook group of like thousands of, you know, of women who are picking up power tools and doing the thing. And it's, it's encouraging. And there's something so satisfying about knowing the fact that you took a flat piece of plywood from Lowe's or Home Depot and you cut it out yourself into a unique shape. And then you were able to paint it and make something unique and beautiful. What color is that pumpkin at the back? This one and this one are scarlet. It's called scarlet. It's a reddish orange. Uh... Amy's excited about the new deco art coupon. Me too. Me too. Um, I've also been chatting with deco art about possibly getting a special pack of paints put together that include um, all of my favorite or not. Okay. Let's be honest. Not all of my favorites because I have a lot of favorites, but um, you know, like 12 or 18 of my probably most frequently used colors. And then like, like maybe, um, future workshops and things could be based on that color palette so that it makes it easier for you guys to find the colors you're looking for. Would you guys like that? Would that make things easier? I thought it was a fun idea. Okay, this is going to be an odd little yellow sort of gourd looking pumpkin. <laughs> We're going to add some shading and stuff to it in a moment. <clears throat> How do we get the paint list? So we'll put that back up there again for a couple minutes. 
If you want to get a paint color list, just text list to this phone number. I'm drinking all the water, trying to keep my voice. <clears throat> Amy says, yes, I would love to be able to buy a pack of your favorite colors. You guys all love that idea? Okay, good. That's not to say you couldn't buy other colors in the shop, but it would make it easier to get those specific colors that you wanted. Rita says, when I was on the fence about joining after the workshop, I just thought I would give it a try for a month using the $10 discount. I'm still in and loving it. Really proud after I started cutting my own. Rita, I'm impressed. You've already started cutting them. My son's back in here. Sign you need me to sign something for school? Yeah. Oh, what is this? It's something for a lab. Where, where's my name go? There's nothing on here that says uh, parent signature. Uh, That's your name. Okay, well, there you go. Why Good are night. you getting take this? This is not mine. No, I was told to give it to the parent or something and have well, them sign that. Where am I supposed to sign it at? I don't know. Maybe the name. All right, I'll put my name down here. Because right. that makes no sense. This doesn't need. It's not a permission form. Well, that's I think what you the probably weren't. Said. weren't she said she would take right. like something she, to she, take. She, okay. Good night. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Good night. <laughs> Roxana, she is a Painters Clubhouse OG. She's been in for a long time. She said, I started painting door hangers and then I moved to doing painting parties and now I sell blanks and have membership and do live sales. It all started with Tamara watching her one night and I've been a member since she started. So uh, Cynthia, Roxana says she makes a lot of money selling blanks. So that sounds like, you know, you definitely could make a go of it. Um, Patty says, I tried to sign up, but wasn't receiving the $10 discount. So I gave up. Patty, don't give up. We can help you. Um, go over to the Facebook group for the workshop and go to the guides tab. It's in there. Okay. <laughs> Teresa says, I'm sure you've said it a hundred times, but how much is it? I probably have said it a hundred times. It's $47 a month, or you can pay annually and get two months for free. Tanika, I can't wait to see the leaf you're painting. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> Tomorrow's your one year anniversary. <laughs> that is so funny. Laura said, I thought I was just going to be trying Painters Clubhouse for just a month, but tomorrow's my one year anniversary. We got you addicted. <laughs> Our painting got you addicted rather. <laughs> yes. My, my kids love popping in here when I'm live. I think they get a little kick out of uh, trying to embarrass me. Uh, let's see. I'm so sorry, TikTok. I totally forgot to be answering your questions. Also, Emily said, where in the shop can we find the ones ready to paint? Those are called blanks. So go to shopdoorhangers.com or click on the link in the bio and look for blanks. And, um, the one, and they have like the etching on them. That's the lines. So you can paint inside the lines. Um, Marilyn said, Painters Clubhouse has not only helped me become a confident painter, but it's given me confidence to grow my business from sell from just selling door hangers, teaching paint parties, and now starting a subscription group. Uh, Teresa, the $10 off was $10 off your first month, and that was for people who participated in the fall double-sided door hanger workshop that we did last week. All right, last child for a hug. It probably seems like I have a mil million children because they keep coming in here, but that was the third one. We only have three. Um, Let's see. Lisa says, do Painters Clubhouse sisters sell blanks with your designs or do they produce their own designs? They probably produce their own or they're producing mine and selling locally because we do have some terms of use against selling uh, like cut out blanks of our designs online. Um, it is totally an addic addiction. You're welcome, Emily. Um, you, let's see. Shaylin says, I tried to sign up the other night, but I got an error. Maybe try again. Or try on a different device. Sometimes that does the trick. Uh, Marie even has a small space now that she hosts paint parties in. And it all started with Painters Clubhouse. You guys are sharing all of your testimonies. I just love reading those. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide. I think let's go ahead. Before we start doing the stems and the the, the handkerchief or whatever. I, keep, I don't know. What should we call this? Should we call it a handkerchief? It kind of reminds me of a handkerchief or a blanket. A cloth, we'll just call it cloth, <laughs> or the hay. And we're going to start doing some of our shading, okay? Shading makes people nervous, but, you know, tonight we're painting it as if we were more advanced, so we're going to add in a little bit of shading. So let's start with this pumpkin up here. This is the one that is scarlet. 
and we're going to put a fresh coat of that scarlet red on it. And while that red is still wet, we will go in with a little bit of like a brown or something and add some shadowing. And we're doing that before we do the stems and the, um, the straw so that if we kind of get outside the lines, it don't matter. It's easier, easier to just not have to control the paint too much. All right, so now that we've got that covered, I'm gonna get just a teensy bit on the corner of my brush. See, I've just got it barely on the corner of the brush. And now I'm gonna go around like the outside with that corner and just drag that color around. Let me hold it so y'all can kind of see like that. The light was making a glare. And if it looks too, too, uh, too dark, go back in and get a little more. And it's barely noticeable once you do it, but then just add a little bit more until you get it the, the darkest that you want it. Go in and we'll add a little bit here. I get quiet when I start shading because I'm like, oh, don't mess up, don't mess up. Concentrating. That was a little bit bolder than I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that original crimson red, or not crimson, scarlet red, and just kind of sh shade it out a little bit. Spread some of this brown somewhere else. And if your brush feels like it's really scraping or dragging and you're just not getting a smooth stroke, dip it in a little bit of water, dab it off on a paper towel, and then it should pull the paint a lot easier. A little bit more brown. Let's do some down here underneath this straw. Sometimes I should have switched brushes because sometimes I like to switch to like a little, a little angle tip brush. And I like to put the darker color up on the toe of the brush. That's the long part, the long point of the brush. And so by doing that, sometimes I can control the paint a little better when I'm shading. And it kind of helps me remember too where the paint is because if you're um, using a flat tip brush, sometimes you'll forget which tip the darker color was on. Okay, that don't look too bad, but it needs a little work. So I'm going to go back and get now a little bit of this really bright marigold or marigold yellow. And we're going to shade that in right here in the middle of this area to kind of make it pop a little bit more. It's tricky. That's why this is considered advanced. <laughs> Even I don't feel like I've quite gotten the hang of it yet. I still struggle with it from time to time. Sometimes it comes out exactly like I want and sometimes it don't. But that looks pretty good. That looks pretty realistic, right? It looks kind of shaded and you can kind of tell that the pumpkin looks a little bit more realistic. So we're going to leave that like that. And then let's go down here to the other crim or the other one that's painted scarlet red. Oh, let me read some comments real quick. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pam Brasher said, I jumped in for a year. This was last year. She said to give it a fair shake. She said, I put a cancel reminder on my calendar for this August. I ignored it and renewed earlier this week. I'm glad to know that you loved it enough. You wanted to do a second year with us. By the way, any of you guys that are Painters Clubhouse members, if you are paying monthly right now and decide you ever at any time want to switch to paying yearly, you can do that by emailing our customer service and they can help you make that happen. And of course, you would still get two months for free when you make the switch. You would be renewing for a whole year and getting a month for free. All right, picking up the brown now. We're just going to do some shading. Go back and get some more red. Let's do this side. The trick is I feel like working while the paint is still wet. Hello, Trisha. Welcome. Hey, Lauren. She said, I think I could do this after watching you, but I need to try it on some cardboard first. That's a great way to practice, Lauren. So getting it on the toe of the brush and we're going to go around this outside part of the pumpkin. Don't panic, panic if it's real dark. Sometimes I'll just pick it up and move it to another spot. Like I'm going to put it right there or right there and then go back over it again. 
see how that kind of that spot's a little dark for me too but you know give it a few more strokes and it'll be fine um hey candy welcome elaine says i'm still debating on joining painters clubhouse i really want to you're incredibly talented what is holding you back elaine let us help you help you um answer your questions usually behind every behind every person who's like mm, i'm not sure or i don't know if i want to do this or you know behind every like thing like that is a question so what's your question elaine what can we help you with <clears throat> oh thank you caitlin i love that thank you she said from artist to artist you do great work debbie says my one year anniversary is on the 28th of this month and i will be renewing yay two years with you debbie that'll be awesome i'm so excited okay going back to the canyon orange color i'm gonna try to watch for um for her question it was elaine i want to watch for elaine's question if she's still on here so i can answer it if y'all see it before i do y'all can answer it too because all these painters clubhouse sisters they probably know the answer as well <clears throat> hey dreama <clears throat> my goodness i cannot seem to get my throat clear all right so i'm just giving this canyon orange a quick coat but only on the like the top part because i want it to stay kind of damp as I'm working with it. I'm going to give it a little bit of water too, because it's with this little bitty brush, I'm not putting it on very thick. All right. Instead of going with brown on this color, I'm going to see what this um, scarlet color is going to do. So let's take some of that. Ooh, I like that effect. I just remembered too, I forgot to add any of the yellow on that little pumpkin down there as a highlight. So just like with shading, you uh, with shading, you kind of want to do highlights and lowlights. So high, uh, highlights, you know, are kind of going to be on the center parts of things where the light's going to bounce off. And then, of course, the lowlights will be where, where the light's going to be shadowed. Do you cut most of yours on the Glowforge Pro or on the saw? Glowforge Pro, um, but I've also gotten a Thunder uh, Laser Nova 24, and um, I've been using it to cut out. Uh, I cut it. I cut out these on the Thunder Laser. If you want to see the Thunder in action, um, I did a live on it on my page, on and I've also put it on YouTube on Sunday. I think it was. Let me get a little bit more white or water here to kind of thin this out. I don't like the way that's looking. Let's pick up a little bit of yellow now and do the yellow sort of in the middle. Pick up a little bit of that orange. I'm trying to blend this out a little bit, but every time I do it, I'm undoing the pretty color that I added is the, I don't think I want to add any yellow on there. It's just make, making a mess. We'll add a little yellow on this red one down here, though. A little bit of water. Thin that out. Ah! <laughs> it looks better on screen than it does in person. In person, I'm like, ah! It's getting messier and messier. And I keep getting water on my brush to try to thin it out, but sometimes you're doing more harm than good. Okay, that don't look half bad right there. We'll just stop while we're ahead. Um, Rosemary said hobby brushes. Uh, so, Rosemary, when you go in Hobby Lobby, there's like two sections in the store where you can buy paint brushes. There's the section over near like the fine art supplies, and that's kind of near the framing section usually. And those are where the paint brushes are sold individually, right? And those... Those are like for fine art. You probably don't need those. Um, you need the craft paint brushes. Now go on down, further down to where the paints are, where you can find like the, the bottles of Deco Art Americana. On that aisle, you'll find the craft brushes. Happy anniversary, Cindy. Painters Clubhouse anniversary. 
Uh, Elaine says, will I be able to join after this live? When is the cutoff? Cutoff's midnight tonight, Elaine. I don't know if I saw her other question. I'm going to scroll back up and see if she asked one. She may not have. Um, she said, it's not just starting a business, right? It can be for fun. So Elaine, I, I may have miss, like, misrepresented it because no, it is not just starting a business. It's, it's actually not about business at all. It's just that so many of our Painters Clubhouse sisters have started businesses. And so because of that, we do end up talking on here a lot about their success with their businesses. But um, like today, I interviewed Miss Pat Harwell and she doesn't have a business. She just does this for fun. And every now and then she'll sell one to make a little extra money, but she doesn't feel pressured to sell or to start a business or to teach paint parties. It's just kind of a little bit of fun money on the side. And so you don't have to sell them at all. Um, who was it? Was, was it Marina that I was talking to the other day? I think it was Marina that I was talking to. If you're still here, Marina, you can correct me. I think it might have been her that I was talking to that said she's not even, um, hasn't even started selling hers yet. She just gives them away as gifts. And so if that's what you want to do, that is totally fine also. You know, you get to choose your own path, your own journey with all this. We don't teach business in the Painters Clubhouse. We just teach you how to paint. Um, now, if you do decide that, you know, you're like, oh, this is going to be, you know, a business for me and I need help with that. If that's what you decide to do, we do have resources. We have a, uh, another membership called Paint to Profit where we can help you with the business side of painting door hangers and selling them and ways to make money doing that. And that's $20 extra a month if you decide to upgrade to that. But it's not something you ever have to do. <laughs> Marina said, yep, that's me. I thought it was you that I talked to that said that. Um, how did you learn to paint the door hangers? Sandy, I just, I'm kind of self-taught, I guess, because I really did not watch any tutorials or learn anything. Because back when I started doing all this, nobody was teaching it. Nobody. I look, I believe me, I looked and nobody was teaching this stuff online because I went looking for a teacher and I couldn't find one. And so um, I started just looking at things that I saw on Pinterest and trying to emulate what I saw and trying to just figure out how they did that brush stroke and how they made that look like that. And just through lots of repeti repetition, <laughs> repetition and practice, I finally kind of got the hang of it. And so um I actually made a TikTok video about this the other day about how like, you know, some, sometimes people will be like, Tamara, how do you do such and such with painting? Like, how do I do that? And a lot of times I won't really even know the answer to that. But, you know, if I sit down with a paintbrush, I can usually figure something out or teach something to myself pretty easily. And so there's only been a few times when I haven't been able to figure something out, like uh, the buffalo plaid thing. Like I did, could never figure out how to do buffalo plaid, but my friend, Miss Katie Tennis from Junk to Jewels taught how to do buffalo plaid with frog tape and with uh, baby wipes. And she taught it in our Painters Clubhouse membership. She was a guest instructor. And when she came in and did that tutorial, light bulbs went off. I was like, this is brilliant. That, you know, so having a teacher is so valuable. Look at the shading on that little pumpkin. Okay, let me show you what we got so far. We need to add shading to this one right here. The other ones have shading. Laura says she's considering upgrading to paint profit. You'll love it, Laura. Okay. One more question. Elaine says, sorry, um, there is some of your competition that sells blanks, et cetera. They speak quite off color and very often vulgar and nasty. I'm a Christian. It's okay if they don't hold the same standards, but if it offends me, I'm not a prude though, but is it clean? Sorry, it's kind of silly, but it floored me some of the things I saw. It is clean. And uh, yeah, there's, there's no, like, actually, let me just let my Art Painters Clubhouse scissors kind of help me answer that one. Would you say that the group is fairly clean? Like, I don't know that I've ever, I may have seen like one curse word on a door hanger at any given time. I've never seen anything that was like really off color. Um, I don't know. We just don't put out that vibe that most of the groups have like a Christian, most of the people in the group have like a, a Christian attitude. I'm a Christian. 
And so I think like we attract people who are similar to us. And so I feel like most of the people in there are very similar to me. And so for that reason, we're all kind of like that. But there's never been any competition or drama or people accusing people of copying or stealing a design. Like we don't we don't have that in my group because we believe that's one of our core values of my business and of the Painters Clubhouse is community over competition. You know, we we want to lift one another up and support one another. <laughs> Everybody in the comments is is uh, kind of saying the same thing. It's clean and humble group, very caring and supportive. I appreciate that. No, <laughs> Amy says no drama llamas. Yes, totally community over competition. I believe we ought to lift one another up. You know, it's it's the Christian thing to do. And it makes us all better people. I'm running out of this yellow. <laughs> I'm like scraping it out of the bottom of the egg carton and not getting much of it. Okay, so we got the yellow laid down again. Let me see. What about some of this honey brown to do some shading? Let's see what that looks like. Mm, I don't really like that. Let me rinse that out of my brush. <laughs> All right, I'm cleaning this up because I didn't like that color. All right, let me go back to my little angle tip brush. And I'm going to pick up, let's try another color. Let's try maybe the orange. We were going to try to do some shading, and I didn't like the, the honey brown. I kind of like the orange. Let's try a little bit of this oyster beige. What's that look like to do a lighter a lighter color. That kind of looks good. I also kind of feel like I'm making a mess of it, but um, see what this color looks like. I'm just experimenting. Y'all just can't carry on in the comments. Oh, that's really dark. I don't know about that. Sometimes you just got to play and experiment, see what you like. Right now I'm using the scarlet color to see if I liked that as a shader on this pumpkin. I kind of like it and I kind of don't, so I don't know. Let me try the orange. It's kind of making a peach color because my yellow is mixing with it. Maybe a lighter brown. Maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm struggling with this little this little pumpkin. I'm trying to erase a little bit of it with a wet brush. <laughs> Amy says, I love that you show us to play. That's the way we learn, right? Okay, I'm gonna try maybe I'm gonna try this dark dark chocolate because I've got it in there already. And let's just see what that does. I think if I dilute it. And only use a teensy bit of it. Let's put a little water in there. Dilute it a little bit and let's see, see what we get. I kind of like the shit, the tone of that better. With the yellow. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. It's kind of like really diluted dark chocolate. A little clump of paint. Robin says, the three nights with painting this piece have been fabulous, learning what we can do as we become more experienced. Yes. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It was it was a really good, um, good time for me too. Uh, <laughs> Let's dry, let dry and reinforce with brown. Thank you, Donna. The brown is doing it. I like the brown. Like I said, I'm still learning shading myself. I'm not, I'm not a pro at it, but I keep trying. <clears throat> and my method is probably not what most people would do or teach, but you kind of have to figure out what works for you. And so far this this method's kind of been working for me. 
most of the time. Caitlin said, I had an art teacher interview today, praying I get it. Oh, Caitlin, what an honor. I've always thought being an art teacher, like for a school, <laughs> I almost said, I almost thought being an art teacher would be fun. Hello, look what I am. No, but I always thought teaching art at a school would be fun. So I hope you get it. Let us know, follow up. And I want to know like what, how it turns out. If it's meant to be, it'll be right. Okay. I'm fairly happy with how that one turned out now. <laughs> the brown looks good. Thank you. Okay, let's switch to a round tip brush now. And we're going to add our little details, like our straw and our um, stems. So I'm going to go back and get this same marigold color, and we're just going to start painting in those little pieces of straw where we may add an, a little bit more of a color than just the marigold this time the last couple times we haven't added any any other color to the straw so let me get like a little bit maybe this honey brown and just kind of streak that in to provide a little bit of detail there we go and we'll do some here Terry, the, the triple thick has held up well for me. I don't know about other people, but it's done well for me. I really like the finish it gives. Amy says, show us that brush. It's just a little pointed round tip brush. And Candy says, when I get home, I plan to get this door hanger. Candy, I want to see a picture of it when you get it painted. Are you going to paint it more like night one, night two, or night three? I am very hoarse, Billy. Um, probably partly because I've been live like 11 times in the last three days, but also because tonight at uh, Bible study, we had a singing night. So we sang for an hour straight. So I came home from church already a little hoarse. So yeah, I'm losing my voice. I almost forgot to add the honey brown streaks through these parts. I want to do that while the yellow is still wet so it looks... Like it blends a little bit. I may add a little bit of extra honey brown on this part though because I want it to stand out next to this little pumpkin better. There we go. What number brush? This one is a two. So it's really tiny. You're going to paint yours like night number three? So um, this is actually, let me, if you guys are just now logging in, I'm logging in. Just now so watching, I can kind of recap you. The first night we painted it like this. The second night we painted it like this, more detail. And tonight we're painting it like this, more realistic. So it's to represent, it's to kind of like represent how somebody in the painter's clubhouse could progress as they, as long as they're a member and they start, um, you know, following tutorials, learning new techniques, and it kind of shows how they could go from, you know, just painting it basic colors with no details to adding their own little special details, adding lots of shading and stuff like that. So it's kind of to show like the skill progression. So this would be the one that's probably the most skilled out of the three. But just because this one's considered the most skilled, I don't want that to like hold anybody back from painting it this way. So if you're a beginner, you know, you could still give this one a try. As long as you're following the steps that I did, you should have a similar result. Um, it might be a little difficult for you, especially all the shading, but you know, you don't know till you try. So I've seen some of our beginners show, you know, their very first door hanger in our group before. And I was blown away at what they were able to do, it being their first one. So I definitely think some people could do better than others. <laughs> Robin said, I ordered four different sets of brushes from Deco Art to Wait today. I can't wait to get them. 
yeah, all the brushes are 30% off on the Deco Art website right now. So if you want, want some, go grab some. I put my affiliate link up in the description up above. And there's a 20% off discount code also. Let's paint these little stems. I think I'm going to do a couple of the stems kind of greenish too. Because you kind of like make them look kind of like they were just picked from the patch. Sometimes my pumpkins have a little bit of a a green in them. Oh, sorry, TikTok. My phone was about to die over there. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of this. What is this color? This is light avocado. So I'm going to use a little bit of this too to paint some of these stems. And I may streak in a little bit of brown. <laughs> Ironically, there's already brown on my brush. So it's already kind of getting on there. But I like the way this green pops with all the reds and the oranges. Let's get a little bit of brown and streak it in. There we go. Uh, we'll do this one brown and then that one green. Actually, this one may have a little bit of green in it too because it was still in my brush. It wanted to be green. Greenish brown. Cindy said, I'd put polka dots on every door hanger if I could. Me too. I love me some polka dots. Emily said, I joined for a year last October. Do I need to rejoin this next year or wait until October? It will automatically renew for you, Emily. If you're kind of concerned about it or don't know what date it's going to renew, you can always email customer service and they can probably look that information up for you just so that you're prepared before the money goes through. Let's add a little brown. I like that. Let's do a little more brown over here on these, though. Maybe a touch of green on them. Now that everything else has green, I feel like these look kind of flat. A little bit of green. And maybe a little, I don't know, maybe a little bit of like the honey brown, just to kind of, on the tops, like that. Okay, here's my stems. So we haven't done the blanket yet. What were y'all's suggestions? TikTok stopped working, so you jumped over here. I think my phone, um, my phone popped up with 20% battery left, and it froze the TikTok video. So I had to um, unfreeze it. So it's it's back live now on TikTok. Thank you, Robin. Uh, Lisa says, do you know when we will do another paint party last, like last week? So another workshop that will be in November. Painters Clubhouse members will have access to it for free. Lisa said patchwork. I like that idea, Lisa. Patchwork sounds like fun. So y'all may have to help me with patchwork. <laughs> like what colors to use. I mean, we could make it real colorful, I guess. We could just use like some reds, blues, greens, yellows, you know, kind of like an old fashioned an old fashioned patchwork quilt. That might be kind of cute. Or do you think maybe paint it? It might be easier and less time consuming to paint each section of it a solid color and then to do little patches in it. That might be easier. Put two or three little patches. And y'all can help me decide what to put on the patches. What color should I paint it though? Pick a color for me. Jennifer says do bright colors. I feel like it needs to offset the orange. So like blue, turquoise, Whatever is, let's get a color wheel out. Whatever is opposite the color wheel from these colors. So stuff that is opposite of these colors. So these up here are the ones that are going to stand out the most because they're opposites. So they're complementary colors. I kind of agree with the teal, Pam. But since, let's see, since we've already used this open water color, well, I don't know. Let's, let's just add another color. Why not? Um, we could go with, oh, my paints are falling over. We could go with a real bright paint teal like this, or we could go with a darker one like this. This is called Mermaid Tail, and this is called Laguna. So take your pick, Mermaid, or Mermaid Tail or Laguna, the darker or the lighter. This is Mermaid Tail and this is Laguna. 
Old fashioned blue. Oh, that would be pretty, Brittany. Where did you get color wheel? I think I got this one from Amazon. Where do you get your door hanger templates? I draw them. Um, I also have a design team that helps me draw them and we sell them in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. <laughs> it always amazes me when the comments start flooding in that it's like a split. I can like, it's never a definite. Oh, I'm seeing lots of mermaid now though. For a second, I saw lots of Laguna and then I saw lots of mermaid. <laughs> Somebody said both. <laughs> I could shade with it. How about we do that? How about we do the lighter one? And we shade with this color. How about we just do that? That way you get to see both of them. Because I think it would look funny if we didn't do any shading. Because we've been doing shading on everything else. So here's the Laguna color. And we're going to, this, I don't know why I'm using this itty bitty brush. Let me switch to a bigger one. My hair is getting caught up. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> This color is so pretty with all this orange. Like I got tired of looking at the orange and now when I see this color, it's like, oh, it's like refreshing, like a cool drink of water. So pretty. I love turquoise. So this is the color Laguna. What does the membership entail and how much for the blanks? So you get access to our library and it has 150 plus videos in it that includes roughly over 80 door hanger tutorials and templates and roughly 40 um, technique videos from everything to hand lettering to how to paint flowers, um, how to make bows, how to use glitter, how to do yard art, all kinds of fun stuff, how to paint ceramics. <clears throat> um, so that is all stuff in our library. Now every month, we also add two new door hanger templates and designs, and we teach you how to paint those. So that's each month we add two more, and we usually have another bonus technique as well. Now, I always teach one, and then we have a guest painter come in and teach another one. And so that allows you guys to not only learn from me, but to learn from some other door hanger painters who maybe know more than I do about a certain thing. And you just kind of learn a variety of styles so that can help you become a better painter and develop your own sense of authentic style. <clears throat> Thank you, Amy. I try to be. Okay, actually, I think I need to dry this before I do a second coat. Um, but for the blanks, Diane, you can save 20% on the blanks using a membership discount. And if you're to, if you buy a 20 inch blank, they're $24. So 20% off of that would make it, I don't know, somebody else do the math for me. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're $24 for a 20 inch blank. So then take 20% off of that. <sighs> Why Brad is your driver? I'm not sure what she's saying. What brand? Oh, it's a, called a heated craft tool. Got it on Amazon. I shared it in my Fab Five videos a few weeks ago. Um, I bought it because it's quieter. Somebody recommended it to me. Might have been Ashley. I'm trying to remember who it was. Somebody recommended it to me, and I went and got it on Amazon, and I love it. So we're just doing a sec. Let's just do a second coat real quick on that one. And while it's still wet, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of shading with this mermaid tail color. And dab some of that off of my paper towel. I felt like I had too much paint on my brush. Sometimes when you got too much paint on your brush, it's like it's going everywhere and you can't control it. You got to wipe it off. I'm trying to get that to... Let me dry it just a little bit. It's almost too wet. It's slipping around and not sticking. <laughs> Thank you. Are your 30 days up now? Sandy said, today is day 30, Sandy. Yep. Today's day 30. So it's the last day to join Painters Clubhouse. If you're thinking about learning how to paint door hangers, this is your chance. We only open it two times a year. 
So this we won't we won't uh, be offering it again until in the spring. That looks nice. Okay, let's do this next one in Laguna. Add a second coat. <laughs> you thought it was you bought a European version? I didn't know they had those on there. I think somebody did warn me about that though, not to buy the European one, but I never did see that on the website or on the Amazon site. So who knows? I must just, she must have just sent me the direct link to the exact one that I needed so I didn't mess it up. Okay, adding the shading now. This is so pretty. These two colors shade together really well. Mermaid Tail and Laguna. I'm just working in small sections that way the paint doesn't get super dry and I can shade while it's still wet. Last one. <laughs> Laura said to clarify for everyone who's still thinking about signing up, is it midnight central time? I think it may be, um, what's it, Pacific? Is that what California is? I think it may be Pacific time to allow for people on the West Coast. So you've got a little bit of time, but it is tonight. So don't wait too long. And the link is up in the description. So depending on whose page you're watching on right now, use that link so that you, the, the person's page you're watching on so that they get um, credit for sending you over. What color blues? This is Laguna and Mermaid Tail. Look at the lovely shading. Isn't that pretty? All right, now let's dry it and add some patches. If I had more, if I wasn't so worn out, we might do an actual patchwork blanket sort of thing, but I am give out. <laughs> I don't think I've got the energy to do that much. We'll just do a patch or two on it. Someone needs to make notes of all your color combinations so we can use them later. Well, if you um, want the list of paint colors that we're using, you can text LIST to 270-207-9091 and we'll send you the paint color list at some point. I don't know if it'll be this week, probably be next week. Oh, Candy says, we'll miss seeing you every night, but appreciate you sharing your time with us all. I've enjoyed it a lot, Candy. I really have. All right, let's do a patch. Let's see what colors we got. How about one? We'll, we'll do maybe like a little bit of this. What is this color called? Oyster beige. We could do a little patch over here with that. Maybe have it going off the edge of the blanket. I'm going to outline it with that and then fill it in with something else. What should we paint on this patch? Maybe like, uh, like a sort of like a plaid sort of pattern, maybe kind of like a flannel sort of shirt. Marina said, adding that color blue just made it so on trend with the other colors at Hobby Lobby. Yes, we're on trend. <laughs> ah, do love to be on trend. What size door hanger cutout? I saw a question. What size door hanger cutouts do we need to get access for the cutouts to come with the win with the Painters Clubhouse? So um, door hanger size is 20 inches. So if you're wanting to get door hanger size, that's what I would order from the shop. Okay, somebody said polka dots. Yes, red polka dots would be real cute. And that would be easy. Somebody said a simple flower. Let's do a flower on another one. We'll do the we'll do this scarlet red color and just do polka dots on it. I'm just gonna freehand some dots. We're not gonna use a, this is too small of an area to do sponge pouncer or anything. We'll just fill them in. Yeah. 
Here we go. Okay. Polka dot. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Put stitches around it. Thank you, Diane. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay. Stitch. Oh, we don't have any blackout. We'll do the stitches last. Just don't let me forget. All right. Let's do another one. Maybe right here, kind of going off the side. I'll do it with the same sort of base color and then we'll figure out what to do on top of it. I bet you crash over tonight. Yeah. Um, last night I thought I was coming down with something. When I got off the live, I went um, into the bedroom. I told my husband, I was like, I'm taking a shower and I'm going to the bed. <laughs> and he's like, I'll come in there. He missed me because he hasn't spent much time with me lately because I've been on live all the time. And so he came in there and laid in the bed with me and we watched TV. And uh, I went to bed fairly, fairly early for me because I'm a night owl. But yeah, all this Facebook live, it, it like you don't realize how much talking on camera uh, takes out of you. It like zaps my extrovert battery and I'm an extrovert. I'm like the energizer bunny. I can go for quite a while, but I think I'm starting to finally run out of steam. Um, squiggle flowers on another one. Donna says squiggle flowers. What are squiggle flowers? That sounds cute. <laughs> Lin Lin Lynette says this one needs two on it. Do you think I should do two patches on this one? Maybe do a small one up here. Wow, Jennifer, that's a good long nap. I usually take those kind of naps after I eat at Fazoli's. I have a carb crash. <laughs> Hello, Lauren. Welcome to TikTok. <laughs> Welcome to my TikTok. Chelsea says yes, too. Donna says yes, too. Okay, y'all, they're seconding it. This is as much y'all's door hanger as it is mine. I'll make this one come down a little bit more like that so that it's going a different direction. Keep losing that little paintbrush I was using. Here it is. Maybe kind of a checkerboard pattern. Oh, I like that idea. Hey, Amy Lindsay, have you been on here this whole time and I haven't seen you? <laughs> How are you, girl? Okay. I'm going to dry these and then we'll do... Here, let's just go ahead and paint the base of our patterns on all these instead of me rinsing out my brush a bazillion times. Okay, so there's another patch. Does that one need a patch? Or should I think I feel like this is enough. Like I feel like it's going to look forced if I put one on that one. Hi, Becky from Oklahoma. I'm in Western Kentucky. You've been on for about half the live. Well, welcome. It's good to see you. Top edge a tad. Okay. And Debbie says it's enough. Okay. I kind of feel like it's enough. Okay. So what did we decide? Checkerboard. And should we go with a different color? What color checkerboard? Maybe checkerboard on this one because there's plenty of like area to work with. What color checkerboard? I love how you guys are co-designing this with me. <laughs> so if we do checkerboard, I probably need to like draw it with pencil first and then just paint inside the lines. I want to write the pencil marks really, really thin so that maybe I won't have to do any erasing. Ooh, I like that idea, Sandy. Sandy said lime green. Girl, you know the key to my heart. I love me some lime green. And I love that it's unexpected on this. So we drew our little checkerboards. 
and I'm just going to fill them in with this. This is called, what color is this? Irish Moss. This is a new color that I've bought. I don't, it's not, I don't, it's probably not brand new, but it's new to me. I'm really liking that though. That's cute. It's like a Granny Smith apple. <laughs> these little, some of these little spots are so small. I may have to get my round tip brush back out to do those. Devil's in the details. When you're doing something this detailed, sometimes that is what really steals the show for a door hanger. It makes it look so nice when it's got all these little details. Look at that cute little checkerboard. You like the green? Me too. Um, <laughs> okay, so what are we doing on this one? Maybe like a, a, little, a little tiny flower pattern? How about that? Like we could do little bitty flowers. Um, what color flowers? I'll do the center's marigold yellow, but you guys pick the color for the flower while I'm doing that. So these little dots are going to be the centers of the flowers. I don't know. I, now that I'm doing this, though, I'm like, maybe I should have drawn the flowers first and then do the dots. But I don't know. We're working through it. Purple. Purple might look good. That would look good with teal, wouldn't it? We're going to have awesome, awesome color combos here. This is called, we're, we're really um, expanding the color list, aren't we? This is called Grape Juice. What an interesting color name, Grape Juice. So I'm just going to freehand some itty bitty little flowers. And I'm hardly breathing while I'm doing this, so I'm getting quiet. This is when it's helpful to have a, uh, a really tiny little liner brush. Definitely should have done my yellow dots second, but you know. Hindsight's 2020. We're going to make it work anyway. Just probably would have been a little quicker. <laughs> itty, bitty, itty bitty little yellow flower or purple flowers. Just do little squiggles for the petals. That would be easier than what I'm doing right now. I probably should have done that. These are just little bitty loops. Actually, these are so small, I can kind of just take the brush and do like just a little bitty, almost like a, just a little bitty stroke toward the center and it's making a better, prettier little flower. I like that better. Almost like a daisy. Now I kind of want to paint over my other flowers because I like the ones on the right better. Look at this. I'm going to show TikTok. What do you think? I like the ones on the right better than the ones on the left. That's a squiggle flower. Oh! See, y'all teaching me something. Can you show a close-up of the flowers? I'm going to, I may paint over those three flowers and redo them in a minute. <laughs> Tammy says, I keep leaning closer to the screen to try to see the flowers as you're painting them. This is what they look like. <laughs> I don't like the three on the left. I like the four, the other four, but I don't like those three. So I may paint over those in a minute. We'll let it dry. Let's do something on this. Last, last thing to figure out. What are we going to do on this last patch? Going back through the comments to see what the earlier suggestions were. Zigzag. Okay. I could do one that kind of looks like rickrack. That might be kind of cute. It's kind of like, you know, like a little 
For those of you who lived through the 90s, you know what Rick Rack is. Cherries would be cute. Brittany says pink. I just now saw your comment, Brittany. Maybe pink Rick Rack. Chevron. Do leopard print, Sandy says. Stripes. <laughs> Two tone stripes, Chelsea says. Stripes feel easy. I can make stripes happen. Let's just do stripes then. We'll do some pink since we haven't added any pink. Brittany wanted pink. Uh, and we're going to use peony pink since I don't hardly ever get to use it because it's retired. Notice the nice little X on the top. My assistant put that on there to remind me this is a retired color. All right. So if we do two stone stripes, we could do pink and what? Pink and what? Maybe. Pink and yellow. There's not much yellow on here. Let's do pink and yellow. Because the yellow is only on the centers of those little flowers. Where's my, oh, I was dipping it in the bottle. I was trying to figure out where the pink was. Okay. Grape juice is retired too. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see the little X on the lid. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to paint over these little three flowers because I don't like them. We're going to fix those and then we're going to add the finishing touches and then it'll be, it'll be done. So I'm just going to take the original background color and just paint over them. Thank you, Brenda. Reminds you of the ribbon candy. <laughs> there is somebody on TikTok who makes old fashioned ribbon candy and I get addicted to watching him every single time. I gotta do one more coat on this because some of the purple start wasn't completely dry and it mixed with the background color. Made it muddy looking. Don't forget the stitches. I won't. I won't. We'll do that in the finishing touches. All right. So yellow dots for the centers. One, two, three. Rinse that out. And then do the purple. I've never heard of squibble flowers. I feel like my swiggle flowers are getting messier and messier. Maybe because I'm tired. <laughs> Ready to be done. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. What a steady hand. Oh, goodness. It's not as steady as, as you'd think. Okay. Let's do our finishing touches on this. Let's get a round tip brush that's kind of like a, a liner brush. Let me try this one. This is one from that beginner's pack from Deco Art. See how long the bristles are? I kind of like that. So I'm going to give this one a shot. It's got like a little bit of a waxy coating on it from where it was brand new out of the package. So get that off, dip it in some water, smooth those bristles out, and let's get some black. Now, you know, I do. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, I'm going to water down my black just a little bit. Just a little bit. Make it flow better. Probably put way more in this egg carton than I really need. That's a script liner. Carries a lot of paint. Donna, you know a lot of stuff. Maybe you need to come teach us in the Painter's Clubhouse because I need the help. I need all the help I can get. I don't know all the things. <laughs> script liner. It does carry a lot of paint. Okay. I'm just going to go in and add some little accents to this. Let's see. On my example... 
I just have a little bit. It's not a ton of accents, but some. I like to add just a little bit to kind of balance the colors out. Some reason black always makes me feel like things are finished. It just adds like a little bit of extra detail and texture. So with a real light touch, I'm just going in and I'm kind of adding little black paint lines on top of the laser etched lines. And then also to our little straw or hay, whatever you want to call it. For those of you just tuning in, tonight is your last chance to join the Painters Clubhouse. It's $47 a month. We teach you door hanger painting just like this, only on a little bit of a larger scale because we teach it on a 20 inch door hanger. Um, we're working our way down to the stitches. We're moving, we're doing up here first. Um, so I don't stick my hand in it. But we teach two designs every month. Plus you have access to a library that has 150 different tutorials. So it's like over 150 hours of uh, door hanger teaching lessons and, and techniques and things that you might want to know. Like we even have some ceramic painting tutorials in there. Um, we have some stuff about yard art, um, how to paint flowers, hand lettering, um, all kinds of fun things. For our Painters Clubhouse members that are watching right now, I would love it if you would give them a little like idea of what all is in the library. What is your favorite tutorial in the library or maybe your favorite technique in the library? That way it kind of gives them an idea of what all is in there because there's a ton of stuff in there. Plus we add two new designs every month. We teach those in a private Facebook group and then we add them to the library each month. Here come the stitches. I'm doing these like little crisp, like little X's. Let me show you up close. Look how stinking cute. <laughs> Jennifer, you're welcome so much. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> you liked the messy bow. Okay, what else? Sheila liked the ombre, the ombre butterfly. That was one of my favorites too. We'll do different kinds of stitches on each one. So these will just be regular. A little stitches like that. So here's the next one. So we have these and then we have these. On this one, I'm just going to go along the edge. And then on this one, I may do, I guess I may just do the little ones like I did on that same piece because I don't want to cover up the flowers too much. Okay, and then just add a little bit of black to the outline of the fabric. Zigzag, yeah, that would have been a good stitch to do. Cindy loved the sunflower, Laura likes the welcome sign. Sandy loves the Christmas tree cake door hanger. Sandy, I think that one's going to be a huge hit at these craft fairs this fall. I really think so. Add a little bit to our pumpkin down here. I did forget that I had planned on adding also a little bit of speckle to these pumpkins. So we may have to try to do that. I like the script liner brush because it's nice. Holding a lot of paint. Okay, we'll rinse it out. 
Jerry says her favorite was the watercolor thing I did on the cross with the fancy frame. That was fun. I liked that one too. Thank you, Mississippi mom. She said it's cute. <laughs> Pamela also liked the Christmas tree cakes. The top of the blanket on the right. Thank you. I always miss a spot. Okay, I'm going to get some white now. Do a little, few little highlights. And then we're going to add some speckle to our pumpkins. Let's see. I don't want to go overboard with it. I want to just be a little bit. I hear an owl hooting or something out there. It's a little really far out in the woods. Forgot to add any black to that stem too. Okay, let me get some black, fix this little stem, there we go. Um, Becky said, I bought the Hippie Known Design and I have my 50th class reunion in 2023. I want to use that for my 70s inspiration. That sounds like so much fun. Kimmy says, what do you do with all the little samples that you paint? So Kimmy, we usually save them up and we auction them off in like a silent auction or something to raise money for charity. But these... I'm actually going to be giving away to Painters Clubhouse members next month. We're going to do some kind of drawing or something or have like a little participation sort of thing that you guys can do to, to possibly win them. So I think that'll be fun. All right. So I got to cover up this bottom section. Just hang on. Let me make sure it's dry because I don't want to mess it up. Thank you, people on TikTok. I just now saw your comment. Um, you're welcome, Laura. She said, thanks for the last 30 days. I know you're going to Florida, but at least try to rest now. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some rest time. It's going to be fun. All right. So I'm going to use this piece of paper to kind of cover up the bottom section as best I can. Um, let me also get a couple of sticky notes here and I'll cover up this little section with sticky notes. Because I don't really know how this is going to go. As always, everything on Facebook Live, I feel like, is one big experiment with y'all. And my kids always ask, Mom, why do you have a toothbrush in your craft room? I'll show you why. Because it's great for splatter paint. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this honey brown color. And there's a hair in the toothbrush. Yuck. I'm going to water it down first, though, because that's not going to work. Let me water this down. So water down your paint. There's only a bit, I've only done this a couple of times. So if y'all have splatter paint tips, share them now. <laughs> uh, yay, welcome Elaine. I'm so glad we were able to help you make up your mind. She joined ladies, y'all all welcome Elaine. She's a new PC sister. So glad to have you Elaine. For those of you who are just now on who maybe missed it earlier, um, Elaine uh, couldn't make up her mind earlier about whether or not to join. So I guess we helped her decide on this live tonight. So. I'm so happy to have you, Elaine. All right, so we got our watered down honey brown on our toothbrush. And I'm just going to take my finger and kind of rake it. There's another hair. I think the cat may have been chewing on my hairbrush or toothbrush. This has not brushed teeth in a long time. So did you put stitches on the stripes upper left patch? I don't know. I think I did. Oh, thank you for the pointer, Chelsea. She said, first splatter on your stretch scrap. That's not, that's not enough. I need, I need chunkier splatter than that. And I really shouldn't be wearing a church shirt while I'm doing this. Okay. How do I get chunkier, chunky, chunkier splatters? I like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Donna, that's hilarious. How do I get chunky or splattered? My splatter's coming out real fine. You use an old toothbrush to spackle? That's funny. I need splatter tips. More water? Is that how I get them to be chunkier, splatters? Because I feel like, I mean, I'm getting this fine spray. I don't want that water. Okay, everybody's saying water. More water, bigger splash. I watered it down, but I must not have done enough. Maybe I just need to flick it. There's no telling where this is going. It's probably on the walls in here. Why do some people, like, are they able to do this, like, so easily? And I feel like... I've done this before, but for some reason, oh, wait, maybe that's the, I am not holding it right. That's part of the problem, I think. I wasn't holding it right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm making a big old muddy mess all over. Brush the other way on the toothbrush, opposite finger. Oh, okay. I want to try a different color, though. I want to, because I've got a lot of that honey brown. I want to try some of this, um oyster beige color. It's the whiter color. And does it make you guys nervous to like splatter paint all over something that we just finished? It's just paint. It's just paint. Okay. Which, which way? <laughs> I, feel, I feel so awkward. I'm like, which way do I hold this? Oh, that was a lot. That That's a lot. Hang on. Oh, I kind of like that though. You gotta, you gotta kind of come at it like with some aggression. All right, I like that. I just don't like that big glob. So we're going to clean that part up. I know it appears I just made it worse, but we're going to do that after. Okay. Get our little baby wipe out. Clean this up. <laughs> Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> There's a big glob right there. I feel like maybe I need to clean that up. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It looked like a big mole on the pumpkin. <laughs> okay. You are really worried about no stitches on the top left patch, right? Top left would be right here, right? There are stitches on that one. See? Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> Rita says, love it. Thanks, Tam. You're welcome. Uh, Jennifer says, I will sometimes varnish and then splatter, and it's easier to remove if you don't like it. You guys are sharing all kinds of great tips. I need to remember these. More paint, less water. Thank you. So let me show TikTok up close what it looks like. So there's my splattered pumpkins. I like how they kind of look speckled. Here it is up close. All right, let me change the orientation of this video also. There we go. Now you guys can see it better. Are you going to splatter on the bottom pumpkin too or not? Mm, I kind of feel like that'd be too risky at this point. <laughs> I don't want to mess anything up right now. Cheryl or Sherry said you're tired. I can tell. Yeah. I get a little slap. I go from like being really worn, run down to suddenly like giggling about everything. I get slap happy. So before that happens, we probably need to cut it off. <laughs> okay. Mary said, I just put my glasses on. All right. One more time for Rosemary because she didn't have her glasses on. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the patches up close. Here's the splatter. 
I do have that one little spot on the side that's a little weird, but we're going to let it go. We're not going to, we're not reaching for, for but blah, blah, blah. we're not reaching for perfection here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are watching on TikTok, hit the follow button. I would love to have you guys join me more often. If you're watching over here on Facebook, I've had the best time with you guys. We have gone live 30 days in a row. 30. Isn't that amazing? And today is the last day to join my membership, the Painters Clubhouse. And so, um, you know, if you have enjoyed these last 30 days and you want to go further and learn more about painting door hangers with me, I would be honored if you would join our membership, the Painters Clubhouse. And, um, you know, we only open it two times a year. And so if this is not the right time for you, I totally understand. We'll be opening up again in the spring. But like Miss Pat Harwell said when I interviewed her earlier today, her advice for somebody who's on the fence was that you don't need to waste time. Life is short. Yeah, I don't think she said it exactly like that, but she meant like life is short and you've only got so much time to learn things and to do things, that, the things that you want. And a lot of times we feel guilty about spending money or spending time on ourselves, especially when we're taking care of others as moms, grandmas, caregivers, whatever it is, we feel guilty spending money on things that is for ourselves. And so, you know, you need, you deserve something too, you know, ever like guys have golfing, hunting, fishing, the things they enjoy doing us women, we've got to have things we enjoy doing too. And so maybe painting could be your thing, maybe painting door hangers. And so it's actually one of those things that if you wanted to sell these, you could make a little extra money. Can your husband make very much extra? Could he make extra money when he goes out on the golf course? Probably not unless he's like a pro, but, um, you know, this is your, <laughs> Donna says, this is not a dress rehearsal. My mom always said, exactly. And so, um, this is your life. You get to choose what you're going to do with it. If you want to learn to paint, take the chance, sign up. Laura, as Laura says, just do it. Um, it's $47 a month. I know that might be a little scary for some of you who are on a limited income, but just know that almost every lady in our painters clubhouse or at some point will end up selling a door hanger. And a lot of them are selling them regularly now. So if you sell just one a month or maybe two a month, you're going to pay for your membership easily. Um, if you had just one really good paint party, you could pay for an entire year membership with one good paint party. And so I feel like when you bring that into the equation, it's a no brainer because then you've paid for yourself to learn how to paint. And that's something that you will always get to keep for the rest of your life. You're learning a new skill. <laughs> Elizabeth said, all, dad said he didn't buy green bananas. I have, have never heard that saying ever. <laughs> Um, but I'll have to tell that one to Aaliyah if she's not watching right now. She loves um, funny little sayings. Yes. And Pat says you can cancel at any time. Exactly. So, you know, if, if you have a month where things get tight and you're like, mm, you know, I really should be cutting back on expenses, you can cancel if you need to. Um, and life gets busy. I understand that. So if you, you know, I don't want anybody paying for something they're not using or paying for, you know, something that they don't enjoy if for some reason you don't enjoy it which that i've never heard that as a reason why somebody canceled most people cancel because of lack of time or money um robin says time for me to go print this template yes absolutely so if we haven't convinced you over these last 30 days that the painters club house is for you then maybe it isn't the right time maybe this isn't um exactly for you yet and so it's now in your hands it's your decision your turn to um to kind of make up your mind about this. And so just know that it's it's no risk. If you want to come in and just join for 30 days and decide if it's right for you, you can cancel at any time. But then you may turn out like, was it Pam that said she did that for 30 days? The next thing you knew, she was joining annually and she stayed for a whole year. She just renewed for a second year. So it happens all the time. But, you know, that's when you enjoy it and you know that you, um, Leanne says, I love what you have in front. We just finished painting this, Leanne. If you want to watch the replay, go watch it on YouTube or Facebook. Um, anyways, I'm out of words. I've run out of words. I've said all the things that I could possibly say. If you didn't learn enough tonight about Painter's Clubhouse, go watch some of the previous videos we did this week because we have talked endlessly about it. So, all right. Um, if you want to get the paint color list, because we have added some colors to our list. If you want to get the paint color list for this project, um, text me and we will send you the paint color list as soon as we have it printed up and ready. All right, y'all. 
Y'all have a great weekend. And I know it's not the weekend yet, but it is for me. I'm leaving for the beach tomorrow. I need a vacation. Um, Anna, they come with four different sizes. So you get to print the size that you want. Yes, this template is available, Kayla. You can get it at shopdoorhangers.com. There's also a link up in the description. I'm going to the beach tomorrow, so I'm going to rest now. But if y'all want to keep up with me on the beach and what I'm doing, just watch the stories because I'll still be there too. All right, y'all have a great week. Bye.